you have in instances where in cities they're running out, but the state still has a stockpile. And the notion of the federal stockpile was it's supposed to be our stockpile. It's not supposed to be state stockpiles that they then use. So we're encouraging the states to make sure that they're assessing the needs, they're getting the data from their local uh, s local uh, situations, and then trying to fill it with the supplies that we've given them. Uh, the president wanted to make sure that we had the best people doing the best jobs and making sure that we had the right people focused on all the things that needed to happen to make sure that we can deliver in these unusual times for the American people. The president also instructed me to make sure that I break down every barrier needed to make sure that the teams can succeed. This is a, an effort where the government is doing things that the government doesn't normally do, where we're stretching, where we're, we're acting very quickly. And uh, the president wants to make sure that the White House is fully behind the different people running the different lines of effort to make sure that we get everything done in a speed that the president demands. What the president asked is that all of the recommendations that we make be based on data. He wanted us to be very rigorous to make sure that we were studying the data, collecting data. A lot of things in this country were happening very quickly. So that was a whole lot of absolute nonsense, gobbledygook. I don't even know what he was saying, just like meaningless buzzwords. If you guys don't know, this is the new Trump administration tactic to continue to put high profile members of the administration that the public may seem, may think is more competent at the head of the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, Trump uh, appointed Mike Pence to lead the task force, and now the new public face of it is Jared Kushner. And if you saw at the beginning of the clip, before he started spewing just empty nonsense, he was talking about how the federal stockpile is there for their own sake. It's the federal stockpile, not the state. What is it for then? And that's within the context of him basically saying, Andrew Cuomo... New York states, blue states, heavily populated states. We don't actually believe that you need all the ventilators that you're asking for. He thinks, and there were quotes on this, Kushner was saying, oh, they're not doing their proper count. I've done my own calculations, and I realize that these states, they don't need all the ventilators they ask for. Again, what? would be the motivation for Cuomo lying to the Trump administration about needing ventilators? What would be the motivation? And I will bring it back to the central question. What is the point of a federal stockpile if you aren't giving it to people and states that need it? Kushner's remarks seem to contradict the purpose of the strategic national stockpile operated by the Department of Health and Human Services. Earlier Friday, its website described the stockpile as the nation's largest supply of life-saving pharmaceuticals and medical supplies for use in a public health emergency severe enough to cause local supplies to run out. When state, local, tribal, and territorial responders request federal assistance to support their response efforts, the stockpile ensures that the right medicines and supplies get to those who need them most during an emergency, the website says. So what Kushner is doing there, it's just a very fancy way of saying, I want to hold on to the ventilators to give to the states that have been kind to the Trump administration, as opposed to the center of this pandemic, New York, New Orleans, California, cities that are just bluer, and they think that they're oh, they're just asking for way too much. They, they can't possibly need it. No, if you actually did your own research and were connected to the reality of what's going on on the ground, you would see that it's it's like a zombie movie. It's apocalyptic in New York right now. Yeah, they need the ventilators, but really this is all to cover his own ass because the Trump administration didn't care to, pro to be proactive and ensure that ventilators, medical equipment, everything necessary was being manufactured in the months leading up to this crisis because in March, Trump was still saying the flu was worse. And eh, turns out it's not the case. And <laughs> they are were obviously not ready so it's both being vindictive to blue states and also just covering up their own incompetence leading up to this pandemic.